uh, I met the balance view training actually 10 years ago now and I did the 12 empowerments for the first time about eight years ago and to just keep it really simple what I really really longed for before I met the training was just to know my true identity I was just really really tired of taking on descriptions I could see that that's the way that we have communicated um, I was educated as a dancer so I saw myself I'm a dancer I'm a woman uh, my mom might call me this another person might call me that and you know it was just like but wow it's just it's really just descriptions and if I don't take on anything of this then what am I like what am I if I'm not described as this that or the other thing and I just had no idea and I felt like that was completely key for me I could see that if I don't know that how do I know anything and how do I know how I can contribute with my life in a really good way if I don't even know who I am? And uh, I also felt like in the circumstance where I grew up in a, in a city, I had a lovely family, I had a really nice friends and went to, to a, a dance school because I was really passionate about dance. So I, I felt I was very engaged in what, I, in what I loved, but nowhere could I find the answer of who am I truly and I felt I had no one to ask and and I, I just I, I just didn't know where to look and it was really heartbreaking and um, so when I came across the balance view training I was really open because I had longed for this so strongly in my life and then suddenly hearing about an introduction to the nature of mind open intelligence and I was like oh my god God, this is this is this is the answer to everything that I've really longed for, and I could really see that this will just flip all this. That I I can get to know the nature of all these descriptions and labels that I not only put on myself, but that I've had about people, places, circumstances, what I took myself to be. So when when I received the introductory training I was just straight on like okay I'm just gonna go straight for the 12 empowerments that a friend of mine had also shared with me and I didn't really know what it was and I hesitated a bit like should I just do it and this friend said like just go for it I like, okay. so I went to the center in Sweden since I live in, in Sweden I went down to the to the center and it was just completely magical like not only did I get to know even more about open intelligence like I love what Candace said in the video here it's not that I'm coming to learn about how to be open intelligence but I'm actually discovering that this is my true nature and so through the empowerments training also get the chance to really look at my principal data streams the principal beliefs I had my whole life about everything and, and like going through listing them and even sharing them openly with with this group that I was in and then also hearing the people in the group sharing their beliefs and seeing like we're so <coughs> similar we have the same sort of data running I and mean, been even believing the same kind of things but through the genius 12 empowerment seeing that oh my god the basis of all this is open <coughs> intelligence it's like everything just cleared up so quickly because it was so spot on and um, and one one of the things that I also really longed for before the balance view training was I felt I was so trained in intimate relationship that that would be sort of where I would find happiness and I would feel content and if I'm with a partner who's also an artist we can share this and that but I was in such a relationship and it was really devastating and it was really it just came to a point where the data was so strong that everything sort of collapsed and I'm really happy for that and in the 12 empowerments I came to see that you know I'm really I can really be an empowered young woman or a woman and just step up into my own true power first and foremost and I don't need to be dependent on certain relationships in my life to be in a certain way but I came to know myself as open intelligence and from here I could see that <coughs> since I had also been very very engaged in, in, in dancing since I really loved that not, I don't need to restrict myself to only contribute very beneficially through 
only that means, but suddenly in Balance View I was also invited to step into completely new service tasks and service roles and areas I had no idea about. I was very skillfully trained by Inval in the kitchen and suddenly I was just stepping into a whole new area and learning so much about that and seeing, wow, like this energy that I had recognized so strong in dance, which obviously was beneficial potency of open intelligence, can be poured into any area. And like, where is it mostly needed? So that was such a relief to also open up to contribute beneficially in, in many, many areas and see that that's actually the basis of my nature. And, um, and also it was such a relief then again to just open up all relationships with family and friends and seeing, I had one specific relationship that was a bit, like actually the only relationship I felt ever that I was really angry with a, with a very dear friend of mine and I, I just couldn't solve it from a reified perspective. But then when I did the 12 empowerment seeing like, wow, this is, this is my data about this person. And if I don't describe this person as this label or this data, but if I rest with what's coming up for me and seeing it as open intelligence, wow, that means she's open intelligence and I can relate to her as this pure connectivity and compassion and love that I feel. And it, it was really beautiful to reconnect with this friend from this perspective. And like, wow, it was, it's completely open, loving, caring. And I could never have done that without this training because it just clarified it from, from scratch, what's at the basis. And it's beautiful to see that that comes about in all of my relationships with all my friends, families, in any circumstance that I'm in it today. And, and also, I, I just love also within Balance View to have been um, uh, invited to, even with, with the dance and very artistic expressions, to use, to use that passion and, and, and fire I have for that. But today it's not about me going up on stage and dancing, because that felt really flat before. It felt like, okay, I like dancing, but so what? But today I can really pour that into super beneficial projects that reach out to people with, with also getting for them to get to know open intelligence. And that was really what I longed for before, to pour in my whole life into touching people to get to know who they truly are. So I see that as such a beautiful result also that the self-focus dropped away and I can contribute who I am and all the passions really for the benefit of all and in all little small tasks for massive projects as well and together with, with all friends. I longed for that so much before the training to have a community of friends that also knew exactly this so that we could speak in the same language knowing the nature of mind and, and that I wasn't just alone in that. So the Four Mainstays is just like such a wish fulfilling dream come true to have a trainer, the training community and the media just eliciting this. So I'm forever grateful for that and to live this lifestyle together and warmly recommend the 12 environments. Thank you.